So question two then, from paper one of the 2022 Higher Maths. Three mark question again. Evaluate these logs for three marks. What you'll be doing here is using the laws of logs that you know. Specifically, if you're subtracting two logs, the base doesn't matter, it works for all bases. If log A, if you've got log A minus log B, that'll be the log of the quotient A divided by B. Whatever has been subtracted becomes the dividing part. The other law you'll be using is this. If you've got log A to some power, that's the same as n times log A. For the last part, you're just going to use what log actually means. A logarithm is a function that tells you what power has been used for that particular base. If I've got log base 5, and I put some number in here, like a 25, what that really says is, what power of 5 is this? Well, that's 5 to the power 2 because 5 squared is 25. So the last thing you'd be using is the fact that the logarithm is asking you for what power you've got. Well, here, I don't know the answers because they're not nice. 6 isn't a power of 3. Well, it is a power of 3, but it's not a nice one. It's not a rational one. And 4 is not a power of 3, so I can't work them out straight away. So I'll have to use these to try and tidy up and hopefully my final answer will be a recognisable power of 3. Well, the first step I'm going to use is this one here. I can pop that 2 inside because I can't use this one unless I've just got bare logs. I can't do it with this 2 in front. So that 2 is going to pop in. So the next line will be log 3 of 6 squared minus log base 3 of 4. It all depends how much work you want to put down. You could do that in your head and say 36. Now use that to say 36 over 4, or you could spell it out. But if you wanted to spell everything out, you could take up the whole page just about. So that would be log 36 minus log 3 of 4. Now just having that, not necessarily getting the 36, gets you the first mark. Now that you've got rid of that too, and you've got these two exposed logs, you can use this law here. That'll be log base 3 of 36 over 4. So that's log base 3 of 4 to 36 is 9. There it is. It's turned out nice. But using this rule, subtracting logs is the single log of the quotient. That gets you a mark. Now the final mark's just for the answer, which you could just state, because you can use observation just to say, what power of 3 is 9? It's 2. You could always give the reason. Since 3 to the power 2 is 9. And that gets the last mark. Now, you could if you wanted, but it's not indicated that this is necessary at all in the marking scheme. The marking scheme just goes from there to there. If you state 2, you get the answer. But you could from here say this. If you wanted to be really fastidious. Well, log 3 of 9 is the same as log 3 of 3 squared. Now that's screaming at you. What power of 3 have I got? It's obviously 2. But you could then say, well, that's 2 log 3 of 3. Using that rule, extracting the power. And then you could use the fact that log a of A for any base is always 1 to say it's 2 times 1, which then gives you 2. Do that if you wish, but according to the marking scheme, it's quite sufficient to go from there straight to there, just by understanding what log means. The logarithm is a function which says what power has been used to get this number that you've just put in beside me.